Hey guys, so welcome to this video um, in our PySpark tutorial series and in today's video I'm going to show you how to uh, delete or remove uh, a file of data that you've got stored in your Databricks file store or DBFS. Um, so I'm going to show you how to remove it using PySpark code inside of a notebook. So let's begin with the demo. So just to remind you, um, to do this you'll need to uh, open compute and have your cluster set up. And also you need to have the data file that you want to delete inside your dbfs so we've got a mock underscore data dot csv here and uh just like that uh we can create a new notebook where we can call it delete file from dbfs and leave it the language is python and choose our original cluster so just to sort of see that the stuff is working we can just uh, read that file and see that it actually does hold csv data and that it can be used to create a data frame so got so basically the code i had shown you to read your uh, for data from data files from your file store into a into a data frame. So I'll just quickly create a data frame. Okay, so we run both of those and you can see that it is able to create a data frame from the uh, CSV file that I had stored in the database file, Databricks file store or DBFS. So now we want to delete that file from the Databricks file store. So when we delete it, we shouldn't be able to see it here anymore under your file store. So let's show you how to do that. So how we can do that is using the dbutils command. All right. So we can use dbutils dot fs dot rm and then we can specify the path which is just file store and inside of the uh, you need to give it a bracket I mean a backslash so you got backslash backslash file store and then backslash uh, the file name because that was the path of the file within the files to so just to confirm that we can go over to dbfs copy path so we need to put in basically everything after this dbfs and the colon so that the rest of the path needs to be mentioned there which is basically the file path so that looks about complete now we can run this and we should get it true okay it's not work this time Maybe if it's because I'm using Oh yeah. Sorry. Uh silly mistake again. So we just need to it was a mock underscore data, not mock hyphen data dot CSP. So now when we run it. Oh, this is very strange. mock underscore oh my god so many semantic errors we would use file store with a capital s all right yeah so it's true so basically now we shouldn't be able to create those data frames anymore so i'll just try creating a data frame from this data file called df1 run can see path does not exist because this file is no longer present so just to confirm with you we go to the dbfs and inside the file so we don't have that mock underscore data dot csv anymore so as you can see you got to be very specific with your casing and your path and your file name and stuff so 
yeah that's about it for this one thank you guys for watching don't forget to comment uh, subscribe share like this video and hit the bell icon we'll see you in the next one